What's up? My name is Lali. I'm a singer songwriter from South East London, and this is my interview with High Pitch. So, let's get into these questions. How am I coping with lockdown? So far, I can say that lockdown hasn't been too shabby for me. I actually went on lockdown, well, I started working from home about two weeks before the government officially locked down the UK. And it hasn't been too bad. I've got into a routine. I know how I start my day and I work out three times a week to make sure I'm still motivated, still working my muscles so I don't get stiff. And yeah, I'm recording at home with music and I'm just like keeping in touch with everyone. So yeah, I think it's been okay. So question two was, do you feel like during this period you've used this time to become closer to the people in your life? And I would say, yeah, like I feel like I'm, I talk on the phone a lot more. I personally do not like doing phone calls. So <laughs> it's actually quite strange. Like I'm calling, I'm sitting down for hours on the phone, loads of Zoom video calls as well, FaceTime calls, loads of birthdays have currently just been celebrated as well. So it was kind of interesting. I kind of like, I feel like I'm connecting with people more now. It's nice to talk on the phone. I kind of forgot, like we've been WhatsApping too much. WhatsApp's taken over, but I feel like I'm gonna start calling people more. Question number three was, have I found any tips to maintain my mental health? And I've just continued to do what I've been doing originally, which is meditating, working out three times a week, and just making sure that I do things that make me feel better, taking time for myself, not overworking myself, and enjoying being at home. Next question is, what new series would you recommend since being in lockdown? Um, anything anime and money heist. Next question was, when do you believe we will have some level of normality and how do you think you feel about it? I don't think we're ever gonna go back to the way things were. I think the world has changed and is going through a transformation. And I'm happy, I'm, I don't mind transformation. I'm happy with change, so bring it on. Next question is, how would you describe your sound? And it's very simple, R and B, R and B, rhythm and blues, that's it. And him. Him. The next question was, what is your creative process like? Um, I'm fairly simple. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm lying. So, if I'm in a session with a producer, I like to start stuff from scratch. So I kind of vibe and we vibe with each other to get an idea. Or if I come with a subject or I'm in a certain mood that I need to write about, that is what I write about. But sometimes that I come in with what I want to write about or sing about. And then when I hear what the producer is making, it completely changes it because I just know what the subject on what I wanted to talk about doesn't fit the music. And yeah, I just write. Okay, who would you like to collaborate with? This is simple. Brandy, Scissor, UK, I'll say Angel, producers, ugh. Ooh. Neptune, Timberland, uh, <laughs> ooh, D Mile, Singer Again, Sir, Masego, UK, oh, there's so many, um, yeah, there's too many, too many artists. Question is, what is the best advice you've been given about your music? Um, to stick true to my sound and to keep going, yeah. That's mainly been the feedback I've got, to be remain consistent and just stick to what I'm doing because the people don't enjoy it. Next question, if you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? I would probably say having more female artists at the forefront of music. I feel it's very male dominated and it's like there is slowly but surely a gradual growth for female female MC singers that are getting the limelight, but I want them to be like right up front. Yeah, that's what I'll change. Okay, next one. What is one message you would give to your fans? Um, stay your ass at home, <laughs> stay safe, and make sure you take care of you, always. You are number one, you are the priority. No one should come before you. Bloop. What is next for you? So I'm using this lockdown to actually record 
my next project so that's exciting i'm collaborating with some amazing artists and amazing producers and songwriters so i'm really really excited to see what we come up with and it's, it's just a good experience to do sessions via zoom <laughs> and yeah that's what's coming up next and a single <laughs>